everyone. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Faye. How are you? Very well. How's things your end? Good. Yep. Looking forward to an hour of crafting. Oh, yeah. We look forward to this, don't we, every week? We do. It's our little bit of downtime. Oh, we've got a few people joining us. Brilliant stuff. Hi, Steph. Hello, Steph. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Sarah. Oh, great. Lovely to see you all with us. And next week, it's going to be Steph and Debbie. It Steph's is. going to be in the hot seat with, with Debbie because oh. I'm on holiday. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Debbie's been doing all the technical things in the background tonight. So she's, I've been in training. <laughs> you've been in training and you're all prepared. So it's going to be fabulous. I'm all prepared. I think I've written it all down. <laughs> yeah. Debbie's got a step-by-step. -step, so I'm hoping I might be able to tune in and get some Wi-Fi because I am going to Mallorca. Oh, I love Mallorca. Oh, or Majorcal, as Majorcal. the call it. <laughs> Majorcal. Can't wait. Oh, hi, Jill. Hi, hi, Helen. Hi, Kate. Oh, amazing. Lots of people joining us for an hour of crafting. So we can so do we... it, Steph. Yes, you can. You're going to be amazing. <laughs> I'll be sat with a pina colada in hand. <laughs> 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 I'll join in the comments. I'll have to work out the time difference. I don't think it is much. It must be just an hour or two. I'm sure. Yeah, I I think it's there's a certain time of the year when Europe is the same time, and then it goes to an hour difference. Oh right, because of Ooh. our summer time. Oh, we will work it out. Yeah. Oh, hi, Katie. And you're on holiday this week. Yeah, we had a good old oh. catch up at the weekend, didn't we? Crop in the country. And it was just lush, wasn't it? Oh, it was so nice. It was so nice to see everybody. We took the um, Twilight Mobile Shop and we got to see all the lovely classes and projects that people were working on. And it was just fab. And we got to have a good old chat with everybody. I might even get my brush shows out next week. Oh, yes. Anybody Is watching that got brush shows? Now, brush shows are on my birthday wish list. And one of the classes at Crop in the Country on the, was it the Saturday, wasn't it? Before I think it was the Saturday, yes. Was a brush house class. Yeah. Right. And I so, thought, oh, I haven't got mine out for ages, so I'm thinking about that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I would like to get some because I don't own any. I've actually got these, which somebody recommended. I don't know if anybody has seen these. These are pixie powders, which are... Almost like a, a mixture between mica powders and brushos, and they've got a real sh shimmer. Are they called um, pixie powders? Yeah. So I've got a few colours of those. They're really good fun. And I've got perfect pearls. Did you ever yes. try perfect pearls? I've got perfect pearls here. I've got a shelf of mixed media right next to me. These lovely things. Those are lovely. I need to get those out as well. And you can mix these with water? Um. Yeah, you can stamp and then you brush over them. So if you stamp on black card and then brush over, it sticks to the card. But I think perfect pearls don't need fixing with water or fixing with anything. Once they've been, um, <laughs> it sounds like mixed media bingo. <laughs> I know it does, doesn't it? Well, if we get this, um, if we get this layout finished, I might have a go. I might experiment with a bit of mixed media, maybe create yeah. a background just to see. So let's see how much time we have. Yes. Oh, hi, Alison. Right, we've got lots of people joining us. So shall we get going? Because we're both let's working on the same layout tonight, aren't we? Yes. Yes. And I'm following your instructions. Right, because well, Debbie, no pressure, but I, I designed this cut file, didn't I? And I, I asked for yeah. a little bit of help every now and then. So this has just gone up in the on the website and um, digital or pre-cut. And I'm getting ready for my holidays. So we're going to do a holiday themed layout with this lovely cut file. And we're going to be using, Debbie, you've made this cute mini clouds. This is a six. Yes. So we're going to be Excellent. using this little mini stencil tonight. And then after tonight, it's going to be a kit that's going to be on the website. So are you ready, Deb? We're going to do a bit. Of I am a, ready. I'm ready. Step by step. Right. So we're using Vicky Bootin's Where To Next. And so using this lovely butterfly paper, which I've used on other layouts, we're actually going to use this side. 
we're going to use that lovely dotty side and then you're going to tear three strips but you need to tear it in the direction if i show you my pieces tear it in the direction to get a nice white edge can you see yeah so if i tear this side i, I had to start tearing and then i reversed it and then, okay give it a whirl that's it oh that's working yeah just I'm, kind I'm of straight all wavy because this is going to be your waves so we're oh, going to build wavy. So this is going to sit on the background. So I'm going to create a bit of a beach, a bit of a beach background. I know, Steph, don't. I haven't been on holiday abroad in about five years. Some a little bit. I'm not going to mention it now. Well, I'm doing a holiday layout, so I'm probably going to talk about it for the whole hour. Well, you can cut this one again and you can do yourself with a pina colada next time. Oh, yeah it's also triple exciting because i'm going away in term time which again because i've changed jobs i have never been able to do before so again that's no another novelty and you'll avoid the children apart from your own <laughs> well we're going to a children's resort so that's gonna oh. <laughs> <laughs> because my little one starts school in september so it's our last opportunity because we obviously don't want to take him out of school term time because that would be terrible parenting so we're going to go that's our last opportunity right so this is what it's look you're on you're on a roll there deb i'm on a roll i've done them right so three of those we're going to put yeah. those on foam pads in a bit and yeah. then what i was thinking i've done a little bit of planning for this so then taking this lovely deck chair striped paper you've got a whole sheet of that yeah there are some lovely yellow strips so i cut two chunks of the yellow strips so we're going to build up some sand that's the idea and then obviously your little sun lounger here yeah. is going to sit on the sand so cut two of those strips like that so, so did you cut this lot of yellow and this lot of yellow yes those two yeah. okay those two we're doing well so far i'm doing well I so far i haven't messed it up yet Right, while you're doing that, I'm going to stick these waves down because I reckon we can just carry on getting a bit of dimension. So I'm going to get some foam pads. So is anybody crafting with us this evening? Oh, hi, Emma. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Oh, it's lovely to have so many of you with us. I must have the main comments on because sometimes we have people tuning in from on, on, on the YouTubes. We had some people on YouTube, didn't we, last week, which was nice. From Australia, I think. Yes. Tuning in from Australia last week. Right. So, just a couple of foam pads. Yeah, I love the striped paper. It almost, well, I put some on the actual cut file because it reminds me of sort of deck chairs. It's very bright, isn't it? And cheery and happy. It is and bright and cheery. Just like my holiday. No, I'm sorry, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'll you. get a ban in a minute, don't you? I'm going to get a you're ban. Fine. <laughs> don't mention the H word. Everybody so else did you just cut work. the end off here to do your... Yeah, back so here. on the cut, I, I thought, because it looked so deck chair-like, I cut yeah. a piece and I backed... The cut file there now debbie did you keep your little pieces for your parasol what pieces the little inner pieces for this nope oh i should have told you to keep those nope. um so in the kit i have kept those four pieces because i've inked them ah. but it doesn't in fact you could back yours with some of that lovely i chair. could back it with this yeah yeah I'm just seeing what people Ooh. are up to. Oh, Kate's in bed. Emma, oh, sorry, Emma's in bed. Steph's doing a bit of card making. Power cut. Oh, Sarah's struggling oh, to motivate. Yeah, that's the trouble. Once you get on the sofa, once you get on that sofa, the, the, the... Oh, once I get on that sofa, it's time for a sofa snooze. I know, that's the trouble. 
we, we, we always know if those messages go quiet, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or one of us is having a sofa snooze. <laughs> Although this week, because Love Island's just started, have to tell you, I'm awake for that. Oh, it's I haven't my, had a sofa snooze all week. It's my guilty pleasure, which is. Oh like no, I did. I did that um, Tuesday. Trash. I'm, I've not watched. I've not watched it yet. And I've not watched this series. I watched started watching the first one, and they annoyed me a bit. <laughs> they are, yeah. Uh, I just you, thought if you played a drinking game and you drunk every time they screamed or said, "Oh my god." Oh, you'd be drunk after the first five I minutes. Know. I know, Julie, sorry. I know. <laughs> I have a diverse range of taste in television. But then I do love um, Below Deck. That is one of my guilty pleasures. Yeah, I like I'm Married at that. First Sight Australia. Love that. Love it. But the other thing I love watching at the minute is the Ben Fogel programs. You know where it's like a life yes. in the wild or he goes yes. out to remote islands. And I, I'm fascinated how people can live. It's a bit so, worrying though sometimes, isn't it? You know how remote they are and the implications well, if they're ill. or Yeah. He does tell the story very well. Yes. And he finds out their reasons. I suppose you're too young, but did you watch him in Castaway, which was like a reality... Where they put loads of people on a remote Scottish island. I don't think I watched that. That's how he got kind of famous. That's how he started. And he was just lovely in that. Such a nice chap. Oh, Steph, that's on my list, um, Kissed a Boy. And it keeps coming on the radio. I've got to watch it. There's, in fact, there's quite a few What's things that, on a series? TV. Yeah. It's supposed to be great. There's um, there's a few things I've got on my list. I did watch Lady. What was that with the Bridgerton one? I finished uh, Queen Charlotte. Oh, that's good. I finished that. That was good. So, did you put all these on foamy dots? The sea. Yeah, I put the sea on foamy dots, but then I'm just gluing the the beach down. Oh, Castaway oh, was two thousand. So I'm I'm definitely uh would have been watching that how, how old would i have been in 2020 sure it, was, it was i remember really enjoying it it was <clears throat> gosh he's done animal park for 20 years he's looking good he's looking good old ben fogel he is looking good another bit of fogel he's got that such such a lovely manner about him hasn't he Oh, it's kind yeah. of gentlemanly, isn't he? He is. <clears throat> You'd take him home to see your grandma, wouldn't you? You would. And he wouldn't embarrass you, would he? <laughs> he is a lovely chap. Oh, Aubrey likes watching that. I good. like, um, Andrew puts on a lot, um, Monkey Monkey World, lady called Alison Cronin, who rescues um, monkeys and primates that are in being looked after people being looked after in people's homes and things in inappropriate places and then she um they kind of got a place where they rehabilitate them and they build up little families and things and it's so Aww. lovely it's really lovely when you see how they come in and then how they settle right i'm going for it deb i'm going into the little cloud stencil oh you're doing clouds i was wondering whether to do the clouds just inside the circle just oh, inside that would there. be nice yeah. yeah that would definitely be nice just inside it would show up a bit but then i'd have white space behind so i'd have to ink the cut well pile. and you're not gonna have white space behind because the next oh. step is to cut out fussy cut loads of the circles from oh. This is my favourite where to next paper. So this is called Beach Umbrellas. Um, and we're going to fussy cut lots of these because they're laying all under this cut file. So actually, so that this cut file pop pops, none of it is on white paper. So if I show you quickly, oh, okay. you're going to do all of these. And so obviously you might do some clouds in the middle. Yes. 
but it's this kind of effect. All oh, are they going just inside or outside too? Outside too. Outside and all too. Overlapped. I love this effect when I was sort of playing around with this. All of these are going to go like this. And it will come together quite quickly. But the idea is all of these will make the cut file pop. And there's a whole load of different sizes. Maybe like this. And I will stick all these down once I'm happy with where they all are. But it makes this, it's like there's lots of little beach umbrellas. So that means I don't have to worry about inking my fan and the clouds inside will work. Yes, I think they will. I think it's going to look something like this <clears throat> and then so i cut out a range of sizes and the half pieces right because we're just going to build this up all these little pieces i might cut a few more out this kind of thing now you can obviously move them around if you don't like where they are just takes a bit of place then so I might need one there this kind of thing Right, I'm going to need another one there. So I'm going to fussy cut this. What colour do we think? Blue. Or red? No, a yellow would be good there. Let's have this one. <clears throat> I'm not sure I've seen much of Animal Park. I do remember watching So I did, did not know it was sort of... I did not know it had been running for 20 years. But I often think he travels so much, which is the most amazing job. But I know he's got a family, hasn't he? It must be hard yeah. when you're away from home. But then maybe sometimes they travel with him. They did yeah, one. I'm not sure. Right. I think a yellow might work. In yonder. And then I think I'll add the clouds where there are little gaps because those are really subtle. So you cut out all the half ones down here and here. Yeah, and yeah. and basically I wasn't too precious about where I put the pieces because you can yeah. just layer them up. And when you stick them down, they'll probably move. But I was just basically trying to create a wreath of umbrellas yeah. and if you've got gaps you can just cut out a few of the smaller ones to fill in the spaces quite a simple layout Yeah, I think what surprises me, Julie, is how old some of these things are. And then it makes me think, crikey. <laughs> now yeah. I realise how old I am. I mean, year 2000 doesn't seem that long ago. And actually... No, it doesn't, does it? You know, the, I remember celebrating the millennium. When everybody thought the world was going to end. Oh, yeah, there was the doom and gloom merchants, weren't there? Oh, yeah. Right, so... I mean, you can go as mad with this as you want, or you could just do fewer. But I do think, because you've got that white wreath, yeah. you want to uh, make it pop. 
you could add stitches doodling Steph around the cup file would be lovely I know Steph loves a bit doodling on the cup file plenty you could do with this I had thought about a few ink splats on the background as if it was sort of splashes from the waves lots of different alternatives to putting this together but with the same concept I might back the brolly with some of these papers because they're very cute aren't they yeah, that's I what might, I, I, no, I might do. It stripey, I think. I think the stripey to match stripey. the sun lounger yeah, would I'm be gonna good. I'm going to do stripey. And I kept my little pieces in here because I knew I'd lose them. So I put them in the back of my stencil pocket. And I then colour swatched some of the distress oxides to match the paper. So crushed olive goes perfectly. Fossilised amber. Is looks a bit like person. peeled paint as well and blueprint sketch yeah blueprint sketch is right that was the closest match i could find um but i found crushed olive was closer match than peeled paint and peeled paint oh. but if you've got peeled paint i think because of that crushed olive here's my little so piece. the red do you reckon lumberjack played or candied apple i went barn door barn door oh. But candied apple would probably be a good match. Yeah. Oh, is that for inking your pieces for your brolly? Yeah, so those were the four pieces I inked, but obviously you can back it in the paper as well. It's equally lovely. Um, and also these little brushes. So I was going to mention, I know a few people have got these <coughs> little brushes these we've got in packs of two in the shop look how cute they are they come in little holders so a pack of two for 3.99 and for these very tiny obviously we love our uh, blending brushes but these little beauties super they're good for the tiny ones aren't they yes yeah, so you don't go over the stencil as well yeah because obviously you've got a cluster of clouds if you want to use them you could post it note it off but these little tiny brushes are perfect for the smaller stencils. So I've got myself a set of those. Look, it's got a lovely little hanger. Um, we've got those in silver or gold. So you could have your silver for your inks and your golds for your oxides. You could decide. Now you're talking. Now, now you're, talking. you're talking. You don't like us mixing our ink brushes, do you, Deb? Well, I don't think oxide should be mixed because it's got that kind of chalky pigment. I would worry that it was t either tainting the other ink pad or, you know, so, so the pigments this, are funny, aren't they? So I'm using ink. Guess what was on this brush? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Guess what I did? I kind of did that. I okay. dabbed it off. I know it's carnage. You, I know I'm naughty. <laughs> it's not how it should be done. I totally but then I, I think I'm perhaps a little bit too fussy. Everyone's different. Each to their own. I have stopped cleaning my um, stamps so brutally. I'm putting them back dirty now. Are you? I do give them, a a quick, give them a quick wipe with a baby wipe usually. But I'm not too... Yeah, but we. I used to go all out with stays on. I used to... And now like I just think cleaner. if I've given it a wipe and it's stained the stamp, that's that shows it's been used and loved. Yeah, we've got a few people who agree with you. Don't don't mix. I definitely think you shouldn't mix the inks and oxides. So almost don't do what I do. Oh, Hello, hi, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Jocelyn's on YouTube. Yay. Good to see you join us. We're using a bit of Vicky Booten's Where To Next. This green is quite nice on the other side as well, isn't it? Is that on the back of the umbrellas? I haven't even yeah. noticed that. It's beautiful. We could have done some, you could have cut out some palm trees. You could actually, we could go oh, all yeah. out. You could make oh. a little palm tree over the side here. No, it's too late on a Thursday night for that, Faye. What, for me trees? anyway? Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. We're doing something nice and simple. Nice and chilled. We don't want to be paper piecing a palm tree. No. Although you could. 
but you know if you freehand cut it it's going to be carnage and it won't be just what you want and then i won't like it so yeah we love a little bit of eb jocelyn it's um oh she's fabulous this collection is so good and we did our whole sub kit with this the month before didn't we yes and then this month we had Spectrum Gardenia, which is sold out. Absolutely. Sold well, all out. our kits are sold out yeah. so far, which is amazing because we just really value the support because it means we can keep creating lovely things. Right. So I've got hardly any ink on here. I'm going really barely there but that's why these brushes are so good do you think stormy sky would work for the clouds yeah i went for tumbled glass because i wanted it really faint but equally i had dug out broken china and i've gone for inks because i wanted something really pale but oxides would work i think i'd try it first on a bit card and see how it compared it looks like yeah, yeah. Right, I don't think I'm going to need much more than that. And I'm going to start to piece this together now I've moved it all. Right, you didn't put your sand on foam dots, did you? Um, no, I glued that just down as it was. Yeah. I felt that was enough. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to glue the cut file bottom down, but leave the top so I can, like, place the circles and lift this up i think that's going to be the best way to do it because i need to place yeah. the circles obviously where the cut pile is going to be so the positioning is quite key um i've lost the atg gun could be anywhere i'm using my glue so i've got a bit of wiggle room yeah, I might use glue purely because my. Sorry, you can hear me opening all my drawers. It's <laughs> how I... Sometimes things just disappear. I have no idea where that is. I normally I... look for something else and then um, yeah. it turns out. I have absolutely no idea where that's gone, but it doesn't matter. We can manage without. So I'll run a little bit of glue along the bottom and then i didn't know whether to go with foam pads for the umbrellas to raise that up or is that going to be just too much dimension but then if it's it's going to make the cut files like crease almost didn't it well if you just raise it yeah. up a little yeah hmm i might raise just a couple so stick some flat and some yeah. It's all an experiment. Right, I want brighter stripes than that. Where's the bright bit? I'm going oh, psychedelic. I love Poddington peas. And don't laugh, my friends used to call me Penny Crayon because of my glasses and the way I walk. <laughs> you, know you know I walk with purpose, don't I? Yeah. I've got a stomp. And I used to Nothing have... wrong with a stump. No, it's purposeful. Always purposeful. Oh, I love Little Bear and Old Bear. Oh, yeah. I used to read those stories. Shirley Hughes, was it? Oh. No, that was um, Dogger. No. And Shirley Hughes was um, Alfie and Annie Rose. That's, that's it. I love Shirley Hughes. And me. She did some really lovely, simple rhyming stories, like Two Shoes, New Shoes, Bright Shiny Blue Shoes. And um, I know they're up in the loft somewhere. I must get them out because uh, I know a little person who would really like them. I love them. that. I've just had the joys of super tater at bedtime. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, the stories. Well, I love a bit of super tater. 
Oh, Jane Kissy, that's it. Yes, that's it. Oh, yeah, love the Gruffalo. And he loves um, f uh, All in One Piece, the large family, you know, the elephants. Oh, we've got that set. Yeah. Seems to really love those. I see lots of people scrapbook about books they've read, either like holiday books or children's books. It's quite a nice thing to scrapbook. It is, isn't it? I've scrapbooked for a challenge before, like TV shows I've watched. I scrapbook Snowpiercer because that's oh, a favourite. I'm hoping one. for another episode, another series, aren't you? Yeah. It's got to come out soon. Fab, isn't it? A good one. But it's nice to scrapbook things that are just like every day. It is because those you those things back. you kind of forget, don't you? Yeah, well, it was a bit like um, when people were talking about scrapping the pandemic. Is that in years to come to look back on that and like timelines and events and yeah. I've already looked back at mine and thought, oh, my goodness, you kind of forget how awful it was. Yeah. Right. What else do I need? A blue one here. I'm trying to make sure that we don't have, like, the same colours side by side. And I think you can put some of these on foam where they're not under the cut file. That might be a nice bit of dimension on the little ones. Yeah. I might just take this off and do my inking now first. I think I'm going to draw pencil lines so I know where to go. Oh, the flumps. Yes. Now that's my era. That's not mine. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Just we're not that far apart, but how? Yeah, how different. A, yeah, a different set of things on TV. I grew up on Busy Lizzie and Andy Pandy and the wooden tops. Well, um, now who um, who else said that? So I missed the. Oh, Trish. Yes, Trish said the same as you, Deb. Oh, so you're not alone, Trish. Oh, that's nice because normally I say. And they go, what? <laughs> what do you want about? Uh, love it. My brother used to love Barnaby. Barnaby the Bear's my name. He used to sing. And um, he loved Mr. Ben. Did anyone used to watch Mr. Ben? No. Oh, Mr. Ben was fab. Right, I'm just going to get an ink a moment. Yeah, no worries. Nicola, kid's book called The Cross With Us Rhinoceros. No. I don't remember that. Um, I remember a book that was um, The Bears, and it was a... I don't know if it's a Dr Zeus book, but it was like... They went on a hunt. Not we're going on a bear hunt. It wasn't that, but it's like through the woods, under the trees, back in bed. And I've been trying to get hold of a copy of that because it's what I read over and over. And some of these books do go out of print, don't they? And then they're yeah, hard it's to a shame because there's some real classics out there, aren't there? That are yeah. Finger Mouse, yes. Remember Finger Mouse. And Mr. Ben, there was the Spaceman, and my brother used to get really cross because the Spaceman was never on. It was always the other episodes. Oh, no. Right, I'm just going to need... I've got a few small circles here, but I'm going to need a few larger circles. So I've got a few more to cut out, but I'm trying to balance out the shape behind the cut file. Hmm. Ah. 
it's those kind of older books maybe you find on ebay or somewhere like that um, there's a very good second-hand book place where I got um, because I wanted to buy Caveman Dave for Caveman um, Dave. Oh, it's brilliant! It's Nick Sharrett. Caveman Dave lives in a cave. He doesn't wash and he doesn't shave. He's smelly, but he's very brave. It's, it's lovely, <laughs> and he really loves it. And I found I it on. I think this. it's um, World Books. There's a couple of second-hand book sites, and they're brilliant. And I got um, Mrs. Pirate and Pointy Hatted Princesses and the Green Queen. Oh, maybe Queen. I might find this bear book then. It's um... yeah, you might do if you know the name of it. Yeah, I'm sure I do. I'd have to look it up. So. And it's the kind of thing you'd remember if you saw it. Oh, no, yeah. not Stormy Sky. Oh, Recommendation World of Books is a good place to look. Yeah, that's where I got mine from. It was World of Books. Which is like, just like, so a, like a second-hand book. Second-hand, like yeah. But, but has all the massive range of... Yeah, and it's that. great because it means that books get recycled and don't go to landfill. And it's... Um, yeah. And the classics aren't lost. Yes, there's so many, aren't there? Yeah. Like the Jolly Postman and all of the, the Alberg ones, they're fabulous. Yeah, my little one got the Jolly Postman for his birthday and that's he's loved, he's loved reading that. There's so many lovely books. So, I mean, I remember going um, to the library and I borrowed the same book every time and it was about this little girl who had it's called the little girl and the tiny doll and um this little girl finds a doll in the freezer when she goes shopping so she takes clothes for it because it looks cold and she takes all these things and in the end the shop owner says that um she can take it home and it's so lovely i used, to, I used to borrow it every week and my mum used to say no you can have a different book and i go yeah but i really want this one oh has anybody got like a book barn near them? Because that's like a huge warehouse. There's one fairly near us and that's like a big warehouse and it's all sort of recycled secondhand books. Have you heard of the book barn? I don't know if that is a I've national I've heard of it, but I've never it's a been to one. thing or whether that's just local to us in the West Country. I've heard of schools going to one. A book barn, but I didn't realise yeah. it was second hand. Yeah. Whether they've got an online store or not. There's at least two really good second hand bookstores um online and the delivery is really reasonable as well. We'll all be scrapping about books next. That's got us inspired. Yeah. Well I actually found a a copy on world books of the little girl and the tiny doll i've actually got one upstairs because oh, i just loved it so much you managed to track it down yeah it's Funny not days. um it's not as big as the original it's a little version but um it's still the story which is lovely it's lovely isn't it julie i've we've got quite a library of children's books and the one you got, my little one, which he absolutely loves. In fact, we got another one that's not my puppy. Is it puppy? Oh, I can't remember which one. That I think it's the puppies one we've got. And our local... I said, um, oi frog, and then we've yeah. got oi, oi puppies he's got. But oh, oi that frog is hilarious. Our, 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 oi frog is... Our, oh, you don't know how many times I've read that book. He loves it. Absolutely loves it. Right, and our oh. local um, charity shop, Cancer Research, when they started doing three children's books for a pound. So every week I go to the shops and see, you know, what they've got. And it's a lovely way to... Um, get books yeah right i think that's quite a lot yes 
I'm just doing my clouds. You might not need that many. I'm going to get, oh, I love the clouds inside the circle, Deb. So have you drawn a circle? Yeah, I've drawn a circle because I thought that would be covered by the parasols. Did so you use your lovely Bramble Fox template or just what did you use to draw your circle? And um, the cut file. Ah, okay, good. You use so that you know it's the perfect size. Yeah. Got it. Right, I put a little cloud behind the parasol. I'm going to put one, and the beauty is because it's not stuck there, I can just carefully lift it up. And I haven't even re inked this brush. There's just enough. There's just enough ink on there. This little cloud stencil is super cute. The tiny brushes are great as well for getting it just in the right place. <sighs> yeah, you know it's not going to go all over the place. Just a little something. Right, that's my clouds done. They're very faint. I think that's just enough. <laughs> Steph, I always, I thought that. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I've got to be careful with those Google searches. Oh dear. That's a Shirley Hughes, isn't it? That yes. book. Yes. Yeah. Her pictures are just gorgeous as well, aren't they? The yeah. illustrations are just. Right. Sticking the cut file in place now. So that's stuck down. Right. So my little parasol pieces that I've got, I'm going to get out from my little stencil case because I knew if I didn't put them somewhere safe I'd come to the live and you know how many times I've lost things on a live so I will pop my little stencil back in its case I love these little cases it comes in <laughs> yeah. Julie's having a giggle too at the uh <laughs> yeah the, the name of the Shirley Hughes book gotta be careful there on a google well, when she wrote it, it would have been all very innocent, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Right, I'm going to put one more parasol there. I can get away with that as I've cut it out. Oh, I do like the parasol in the stripe step. That's a great alternative. And I might keep them just on the outside so that I don't cover my clouds. Because I'm quite liking my clouds. Yeah, love that. Right, so then my parasol pieces I am foaming up because I've obviously done these. I just think them in those four oxide colours. So has anybody got plans for the weekend? We have. We've got the old Twilight crop and we've got have. lots of people signed up online, which is amazing. So we've got a whole day. A whole day. Of Did I mention a whole day crafting before I go on holiday? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> yeah, don't mention the holiday. <laughs> oh, dear. I shall get um, my design team layout ready. Get that scheduled. Right, I need some more circles. I've got one there. Right. So those pieces are on foam. Yeah, can you see how closely those four ink colours match. Yeah, that's really good. And then what I did was just a few of these I put on foam. So most of them were yeah. glued. And then I just raised up just these couple of pieces. 
so then to my photo i have got a photo this is from when we were on a little caravan trip would that have been a, another holiday that would have been another holiday <laughs> vacation and i absolutely have no atg gun i hope i haven't left it somewhere now, I can't find the photo that I was going to use. In my head, I know exactly what photo I'm using. I can't find it. Yeah, and um, and my ATG has just disappeared. So I don't, I didn't take it to crop in the country, did I? No, because we didn't have time for anything, did no, we? No, no. But you had yours. So I we took put mine. on display. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go on holiday on Tuesday, Julie, you know, just to mention it one more time. <laughs> uh, and it's my little one's first trip on an aeroplane, so that's very exciting. Oh, Jill, you're cropping with Sarah. Amazing on Saturday. You're quite a little way away from us, I think. We're down south in Bristol. Yeah, it's a bit too far you're, for a day trip, isn't it? You're up in Warrington. It? Yeah, it's a bit too far for a, a day trip, but that'll be fab. We'll have to share the projects we're working on on the group. Share what you're up to. Right, I've got little foam pad bits all over the place. Let's get this cleared up. And then I was just thinking it probably needs just a few, few embellishments. So I've got the other thing I like. So from the products, like the branding strip, there were these really cute hearts that I liked. And then I was going to layer those. Pop it behind the deck chair. There. And then could have a little parasol and then maybe a few of these little hearts because I thought these might be cute cut out. Very tiny. And there's hearts on one side of the paper, isn't there? These would be nice cut out as well. Oh, actually, those would be nice as a larger size, yeah. Mm. I mean, we even have butterflies, but I don't think it's a kind of butterfly layout for me. No. There are tiny little butterflies. So you could fussy cut one of those from the product strip. But yes, I do love those. That's on the back of the stripey paper. Yeah, these. Yes. I definitely think fussy cutting some of those. Just for so I'm gonna put one little umbrella there and I'll tuck some little hearts. And I reckon that's gonna be done. Won't need much more. And then we're going to make it into a little kit. Because I find kits are nice for a bit of kind of mindless scrapping. I often yeah, buy a kit or two. To. When we go to crop in the country and we have kits, it's lovely because you just, yeah, you totally switch off and you, somebody else has done all the thinking for you, which I love. Does that work just around the edge? I love that, yeah. And then That's I'm not going to cover over my little clouds you, either. Yeah, you've done your clouds in the middle. Love it. It's almost like you're looking into a little looking glass. That's what I thought. It's like almost um, like a little globe, isn't it? Like it's framed, yeah, like a little snow yeah. globe. Love it, Deb. But that's what I like about different interpretations. Yeah, we when we do a class, we always say we like it, don't we? If they're all different. Yeah. We've all got it's nice. It's um, people's own little take on it. Yeah. People should have their own little take on things. 
Absolutely. Obviously, you don't have to, but it's nice when they do. Yeah, I think some people worry. They're like, oh, I've changed it up. Yeah, go for it. But some people do get offended if you change it, don't they? Yeah, apparently. I, I, Not us, is it? I always change things up or I think, yeah. oh, I've got a photo that's a different size or... Yeah, and often have... you think somebody does something and you think, oh, what a fab idea, don't you? It's just like, oh, yeah. Just gives you more ideas, doesn't it? Well, it's a bit like our sub kit. We do a magazine of ideas, videos, packed with inspiration. But I equally love when people who are subscribers then go... And here's my, and I'm like, wow. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Just another take on. That's all part of the fun. Yeah. Right, your idea to fussy cut these hearts are perfect. I'm going to have maybe three. This tiny little yellow one is going to go here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have a pink one. Bit fiddly, this, but it's worth it. Could have a little heart punch actually, and you could punch some out. Yeah, I bet think. you it wouldn't match the shape though. Ah, uh, I've been caught like that before. And you've punched it out, and it's not the, quite the right punch. Shape it, yeah. Part. yeah. Yeah, I'm with you, Julie. I've done some classes and then felt really awkward because I've changed it up a bit. But actually, if I'm teaching a class or i've designed a kit i love it when people change yeah it we always say we love it when people but go some people piece, can be we? i have experienced that where they've been a bit funny and they thought oh i didn't mean to offend anybody i just wanted to change it up a bit we would much rather somebody scrap lifted changed it we're like actually we only do this to inspire people absolutely and because it's our favourite hobby, obviously. Well, absolutely. I don't know what I'd do without scrapbooking now. No. I mean, how long now? Four, to, how long for the crops? 14 years. 14 years. So we met. And we were going to Ellis before that. Yeah, so we met. My gosh, Deb, it's got to be 20 odd years ago. Yeah. But I actually knew you before you knew me because I knew you as a very, as a mere youngster. Because you knew my mum. Yeah. Yeah. Small world. And then I sat next to you at the crop and thought, I recognise yeah. you. <laughs> and then you came, didn't you, with your pictures of Charlie and my little uh, dog and your list. Of all then the I went away with a shopping list and I yeah. was totally hooked. I only spent the day at this crop and then I wanted all the things. As everybody it's, knows, happens. And we've got, there's something so lovely, isn't there, to show when you've finished as well. Yeah. But I look back on some of those layouts from like 20 odd years oh, ago. Oh, gosh, so. I do. Oh, that was an interesting style. I wanted to redo, I did a scrapbook for um, my daughter when she was 18 and I wanted to redo it because it's so awful. And she went, oh, no, mum, I love it. That was what you were doing at the time. But it is really bad. Does anybody else go back and redo? I I don't. I feel like yeah, looking back and the dodgy paper, yeah. like how tacky the papers were. But paper I like... mania papers. Oh yeah. my goodness, they were bad. I like to look back. Yeah, and she is right because looking back is quite hilarious. Yeah, I think she's right to say don't touch it. Because in 20 years' time, the layouts we're doing now will equally look the same, I'm sure. I don't think they'll look quite as unprofessional as some of mine <laughs> did. <laughs> I'd have to go a long way <laughs> to, to match yeah. some of those. We were beginners. Oh, we were beginners. But everybody's got to start somewhere. As somebody said on a group, it shows um, how far you've come as well, which is nice. Isn't it? And also I that it's not to be taken really too seriously. I always think yeah. if something turns out a bit not out, well, I think, well, I enjoyed making it. Yeah. And that's the and really, important. it's about the memories, isn't it? It's not about really how it looks or it's about you recording that memory. So, yeah. 
if it isn't perfect it doesn't really matter I'm with you, Sarah. I have got too many photos that I haven't scratched yet. So to go back and redo it. No. Absolutely. We're just enjoying oh, the gosh. moment. Well, I ended up working with somebody and it wasn't until we'd been working together for a few years. When my son was in school, there was a student and he came home and he talked about her constantly. And in the end, I was like, oh, gosh, if I hear her name one more time. <laughs> but he absolutely adored her. And then I was working with her for about three years before I made the connection. And she was still as lovely. She was absolutely lush. Yeah. Now, I was going to put of where it was and the date, but I'm not entirely sure. And I've done this before and I put the wrong place down so i think i will look it up on my phone first so i don't make a mistake because that I, if anybody's done that it irritates i've done spelling mistakes sometimes and that irritates me too <clears throat> right so and the other thing i was keen to try is i've got some of these um distress oxide spray so obviously i've got Ooh. my well i've got my dina gloss sprays which i love i was equally thinking on this layout you could have put a few a few splits of this because i, I, I want to make this look a bit more sea like so have you I protected would, your uh, computer yeah, first well definitely and i would want to protect the cup file and you just put a few little splats of the but i just yeah the the oxides um the oxide sprays i'm just because obviously the gloss these would be sort of chalky and matte does anybody yeah. else got anybody else got these oxide sprays because <laughs> i'm confident with the gloss and obviously if you mix up your own with water then it's um, see i might go I'm wondering, what does Broken China look like? I haven't That's... tried any of those yet. No, I haven't used any yet, but I was just interested to know how they might mm. go. But what I was thinking is the tiniest bit where I had a fan paintbrush here of water. Now, I probably shouldn't be doing this on the actual layout, but I wanted to, you see, I think the oxides would give, make this show up more. The inks just almost absorb in. And you can barely see. Let me lift that off. Hardly, you know, it doesn't really show up, does it? You, a few little splats. I'm wondering what the what the gloss spray might. That's quite a nice match. This one is Ocean. Is aptly named? Aptly named Ocean. Right, let's cover this up. I'm gonna have a go. This is where you think, well, I could have done this before I made the layout, but let's see what this looks like. What do you reckon? Bit of gloss? I think you're very brave, but go for it. Oh, Nicola. Well, you know, I love it. I'm just like, yeah, let's add a bit. You've got, Nicola's got two of the oxides. You'll have to tell us if you have a go. Oh. Tell us what you think. Oh, now this is nice. You see the gloss spray. 
really shows up. And the good thing is I can then just leave it to dry overnight. Bit of sea spray. How to make a mess in the last couple of minutes of a live. And I've got it everywhere. I'm having fun. <laughs> Whose idea was this? All over I did death. say. I did say, you sure? But now I've started, I can't stop. Right, I'm going to stop because this is a bit messy. And I've got it everywhere. But I can just leave it to dry and go and watch a bit of Love Island. Oh, lovely. Perfect timing. Look at that. Right, so I've, co I've covered up the... I've covered up the cup file. And yours is almost done as well, Deb. You just need yes. a photo. Just need a photo and I can't find it. So, um, yeah. I, was I think those when... gloss, gloss splats are going to be just perfect. They've got a bit of yeah, shine. Yeah, very nice. See very them? nice. At the bottom. Well, that's us done. I think it is. Wow. Well, thank you for joining us, everyone. Um. I won't say I'll be on holiday next week. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't be here. Yes, but we you'll know. You will see Steph and Deb next week. And I'm yes. going to be tuning in to chat, hopefully. So thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks for and joining we will us. See you all next week. Bye. Bye, all. <laughs>